Mama always said, watch out for bad boys. I'm a good girl. He's a hey everybody, this is Giselle Melrose and welcome to Underground Radar. I'm here today with the lovely Miss Sam. Hey baby doll. How are you? I'm great in yourself. All right, Sam is everything. Um, but more importantly, Sam is a jewelry designer and a wardrobe stylist and a personal shopper and a whole bunch of other stuff too. Alright, so now we're going to get into the interview. Um, now I've noticed in fashion, accessories are like a big thing now. Um, from, from what I understand, you know, New Ventures by Sam, which is her line, for those of you who don't know, started in your living room, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. So what was the piece, per se, that was like, I'ma just go ahead and just keep doing? I started off doing just the regular size beaded bracelets because it was something small, but with a lot of detail in it, it makes a large impact. And it, it, of course, if you wear them like a cluster like this, then it looks that much more funkier. Mm -hmm. So I would say I started out with trying to make those small beaded bracelets really, really detailed. Of course, all of the pieces are one of a kind, so that's definitely one of the selling points also. Okay. Now is wardrobe styling secondary to jewelry? No. Okay. Jewelry was essentially just the product, uh, more or less just the seed to put out there to the to the masses. Okay. The wardrobe styling and creative direction is definitely up first. Okay. It's something that I'm very passionate about okay. and definitely something that I've been doing for quite a while now. So now that I have successfully brought out this product line, now I'm transitioning more into doing more fashion production okay. and personal shopping, wardrobe styling, all of that good stuff. Okay. Now, um, speaking of wardrobe styling, um, I also know from what I understand you do personal shopping. Mm -hmm. um, how is that as far as you putting together someone's look for other people to see? Like how, how does that work? Well, my goal overall with personal shopping, wardrobe styling, and essentially my entire brand is, is, is we cater to our consumer. Our goal is not to try to stuff you into something that's a trend for the time. We want to work with you to make sure that whatever we put you in is going to accommodate your lifestyle, you're going to feel comfortable in it, because of course you can't wear anything you don't feel comfortable in. You're going to look crazy. So with the whole personal shopping, we definitely try to make sure it's a, a wonderful experience. We definitely implement a lot of core customer service values in there. So we sit down. That's what I mean. That's what they make them. Definitely. Right. We sit down with you, we you know, ask you some questions, build a client profile, and from there what we do is we use that to, you know, bring out here to the malls and such. And we really don't like going to malls. We definitely love patronizing like our local businesses and brands right, and such because right. of course that just brings more attention in their direction and then I mean it's a community thing, so we okay. definitely want to keep it all in the family. So my goal is just to make sure my consumers know that I have their better interest at heart and that it's not about me, it's about what they want. Right, absolutely, that's important. Now, um, the DMV definitely has embraced you. Um, as, <laughs> Thank you. As far as, you know, with the pop-up shop events you do, I know you're at Pages on Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. Right, mm -hmm. and you do a lot of pop-up shops. I know some of your things are in for rent. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in entropy? Yes, for entropy. Now? Right, okay. So, um, Will we see more of New Ventures by Sam internationally soon? Absolutely. I actually have my items placed in about seven different locations now. Most recently, we just placed items in um, e, I'm sorry, Shop Runway Consumer Boutique in Richmond, Virginia. Um, and so definitely, international is, is definitely on the radar. Before the end of this year, we intend to be more, definitely reach that goal. Okay. Now, you know we can't leave without del delving into your personal life. No, honey. So, you know, <laughs> recently you tried to knock yeah. with your boo thing. I'm married to doctor. Yes. <laughs> now, how is that as far as trying to balance, you know, the new vintage by Sam life, just being Sam, and then being Mrs. Smith now? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I'll be honest with you. It's everything is I've been so blessed that everything has been really organic nothing feels like it's forced I mean the most forced I felt was when I was working for somebody else so Absolutely. at this stage in my life I'm just like wow it's I have a career where I feel great I love what I'm doing I feel like I'm purpose driven and then I have a man who supports me and I didn't ask for anything more so I mean I had my rough days I think like everybody else but at the end of the day I think about it like I wouldn't want to be doing anything else Right. You know, I wake up when I want to, and at this point, I'm now in a position to be there for my family, and you know what I mean, and be that person who, if something's going wrong, if crap hits the fan, 
and then it can hit my phone because I keep my own hours. So right. it just it just works. The juggling it just comes and I'm just getting a little bit better every day. Okay. Now, um, over the years your brand has definitely progressed from just starting out from, you know, just a small statement piece in the living room to, you know, just small intricate bracelets to now you got this whole like worldwide thing like you, you're doing it Thank now um is there anything that you think you could have done differently to start up your brand i just should have believed in myself sooner um that would have been my only thing that i could change if i'd have just a long time ago said you know what forget it i don't have to work for anybody else i can make my own way that would be the only thing i can change but ultimately i'm like you know you have to take your bruises and bumps to get to where you are so I don't really have any real regrets, but that would be my only one. It's just starting okay. sooner. Okay. Now, for those that don't know New Vintage by Sam, which that would be kind of odd, but um, what? How can we find your work as far as the, the personal shopping, the bracelets, everything? Where can we find your pieces? And what's your next event or next upcoming events where they can come and just say hey and support? Okay. Um, you can definitely find me on Instagram and Facebook under the name New Vintage by Sam. Um, you can check out my website. It's www.newvintagebysam.bigcartel.com. Um, if you go to my Instagram page, I always upload what's going on with the week. Okay. And thank you for coming so we can have an interview with thank you. you it's been me. a long time coming. Yes. All right. And we're done. Yeah. <laughs>